All right, guys, back with the car at ProFab and very far along in just a few days. Look at all the bars back there. Dang jungle gym in here. Window net. These bars are all new. This bar is all new. A lot of new bars. It's going around on the other side. So here is a good view of my new driver compartment in a way. They made these, the funny car hoop like come way out. So it definitely protrudes into the passenger area, but that's not really, it's not really my concern when driving. I want to be as far away from it as possible. They even move the parachute handle. This is something I talked about originally, moving it once we put more cage in. And this is exactly kind of how I imagined it, but way nicer. More roof bars, gussets everywhere. Just all around more safe. So the goal of these bars is a helmet can't fit through. So that's why there's these bars like this and then a window net now. So it's just all, all around much safer. Look at how, how many there are now. It's crazy. Can't wait to put a seat in and sit in and feel how it looks. Parachute handles in such a better area. Dashboards out. Unplug the harness from the ECU. Just don't short anything out. It's a real race car now, but it's still a street car. Then next up, we are going to be putting in a fire suppression. They kind of recommended I do this, which didn't take much persuasion at all, because I definitely wanted one. And we're gonna try to put this in as much as possible today. So this is the fire suppression system. Profab is a dealer for them. They got it all ordered up for me. You put the fire handle right next to you as a driver, easily reached, kind of like the parachute where in case there's an emergency, you don't have to unstrap or anything, you just pull it out. Put three nozzles, one like by my feet, two in the engine bay, whatever you wanna do. This right there on the dashboard somewhere for in case there's an emergency. So we'll probably put it somewhere like here, something I can reach when I'm harnessed in, and then, you know, hopefully never use it. That's the goal, right? putting something in you never use, kind of like a cage. Never plan on using it, but you definitely want it. All I keep thinking is this car's getting heavier. <laughs> I need more motor now. Wow. Every time I try to take weld, it's snapping, banging, popping. Way more subtle when you do it. All right, so that's the uh, mount for the bottle. So it's gonna be right behind the passenger side head and you'll be able to see the gauge. Everything will come out nice and easy. All the lines will come off of there, go into the engine bay, go behind it, go under my feet. Three lines, three of the key spots that you want to protect. All right, so here is the first line. Bent this all up. Um, I I did this, so don't, um, don't think Profab did that. They would definitely have done a nicer job. So that one's gonna go right there right next to the brake pedal. And it's gonna tuck up here, tuck over by the ECU. And then we're gonna tee off right here. One's gonna go straight into the engine bay. We wanted to put it by, basically by any fuel that's in the engine bay. So we're gonna put that one, probably run it like up here to like right here so that it sprays right here in case there's an issue here. And then obviously it'll get all of this area. So that's our, that's where we're gonna put another one, probably like right off here. <clears throat> and then weld it in this bracket for the tank. And the tank's gonna go right there. You're gonna be able to see the gauge. And then the other one's just gonna go off the back of the tank. Probably come right to here and point like out this way so that if there's an issue with the fuel cell back here, it gets all of that. This stuff is really cool too because it is safe for all electronics. It's safe for all like wiring, everything like that, like your engine. It's not like a powder or a corrosive material where it's gonna destroy your engine, destroy like everything. Like some fire extinguishers, this stuff is all safe. So really happy to have this in the car and be adding safety, you know? Definitely can never go wrong with adding safety. 
there's a lot of people that need to look into this kind of safety and I'm glad that Profab is pushing me in the right direction to have the safety I need to be going this fast. They would not let me leave here if they didn't think that the car was safe. Just look at that freaking hoop that's in the car. That's insane. I don't know where my seat is. Kinda wanna throw it in there to see what we're looking at. All right, fire suppression bottle is mounted up right behind the passenger seat here. They made these two little stands that go off put it right to the brackets that they come with and it looks so awesome right there you can look right in see the gauge you should be able to see that right around the passenger seat make sure that your bottle's full you can see the dates which is awesome i put the driver's seat in just so you guys can see and it is so crazy when you sit in it you don't actually see any of the cage all you see is a glimpse of your parachute handle from in the cage also along with that they're building a new catch can that goes in the trunk. This should hold just over a gallon, so that's good if the motor ever does let go between this the lines. It will hold a lot of the fluid that's in the motor, so really cool. Plus, it's going to have like a big vent right out the top, so very cool piece. All right, here's an update on how the fire suppression system is looking. So here is one nozzle right back there. It points at me, points that way, and then back at the fuel cell so that, you know, it basically can create like a wall in between me and the fuel cell in case of an issue. The fuel cell is in its own casing, but just in case. Then the line runs tucked under here, basically fully hidden to this T. It tees off and goes at my feet right there. You can see this. So if there is any fire coming through this direction, my feet are protected and that would probably protect me, we would imagine. Here's the handle. So before you make a pass, you pull out the pin and then, you know, in case of a fire, you just pull this guy and it sprays everywhere. Definitely don't want to do that because I'm not sure if it's armed. No, not armed yet. But very easily accessible from uh, in the driver's seat. Then we're gonna tee one more off, go through the firewall with a bulkhead fitting. Then in the back, burn down tank is very far along. We're gonna have two dash 12 lines come through here, go up the center console, bulkhead to the firewall. And then there's gonna be two fittings that come through from two short lines that go right here into the firewall and then back into there. We're gonna run right through the car, but it's coming along really awesome. Guys over at Profab are doing such a great job. I am here learning, watching, kind of listening and helping along as much as I can, but they're definitely showing me some, some solid tricks. Hey, small block, small block, come show, come show the car. Come here. I don't think this cat likes me. No, come back. Man. It's freaking moody shop cat. Well, the fire suppression system is 100% in. So we got one right here, three nozzles. They spray basically everything in this area and it goes through to a bulkhead fitting into the cabin. The T right here, they all bent up. That one goes by my feet, sprays everything over there. This one goes up here into the bottle, sprays back there, and then the handle. And other than that, that is everything. That is the whole fire suppression system. It looks so awesome and it's very relieving in a way to have this. Kind of like Kind of a weight taken off your shoulders in a way just to add safety and then the cage is all done which is really killer cage i mean it's, i think it's as nice as it could possibly be they just are gonna button up a couple more things and hopefully be racing this weekend just kind of paint the cage and put the seats in a couple of miscellaneous little things they even put the window net in window nets all mounted up and everything like that that'll do it for this video though guys we are Heading out from Profab next time we come and see this thing, 
it will be 100% done. Well guys, it just occurred to me that <clears throat> I forgot to outro this video, but spent the day working at ProFab. Those guys are so awesome. I was uh, definitely able to learn a lot watching what they do and you know how they work and everything and it was really nice working in a shop environment a little bit you know with some other people around so that was really awesome huge thank you to them they crushed it on this they they just they blew this job out of the water like i can't i cannot wait to show you guys the finished product so stay tuned there's gonna be a one more video and i'm just gonna go over everything and how awesome it looks and then racetrack this weekend that's the goal so Thank you guys for watching. Keep it saucy. I'll see you next time.